It was the Prime Minister's first meeting with Nicola Sturgeon since rejecting her bid for a second Scottish independence referendum. With Theresa May about to face off against EU negotiators, she doesn't want to be fighting a war on two fronts and has told the Scottish First Minister that now is not the time. Now is the time when we should be pulling together, not hanging apart, pulling together to ensure we get the best possible deal for the whole of the UK, including the people of Scotland. After the closed-door meeting, the Scottish National Party leader complained that no guarantees were given that returning EU powers would be devolved to Holyrood. Even though it's been less than three years since Scotland voted to remain part of the UK, the SNP made a manifesto pledge to hold a second referendum if there was a significant and material change to the circumstances. So now, due to Brexit, Nicola Sturgeon is pushing for that vote to take place around the end of 2018, when the details of the negotiations are expected to be known. I continue to be frustrated by a process that appears not to be listening, not just to Scotland, but to any of the devolved administrations. Well, firstly, I want the UK to get a good deal. But when that deal emerges, I think people in Scotland should have an informed choice about whether that's the path they want to take or whether they want to take the path of becoming an independent country. Later this Tuesday, Scotland's devolved assembly will resume a debate on independence that is expected to give the First Minister the authority to demand the second referendum go ahead.